In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to show you a tight offset tight end play that will beat every coverage in Madden 21, show you some stuff from the Saints offensive playbook, which I've been getting a ton of questions about, and let you know about what my text membership is and how it can help you in Madden NFL 21. So what's up, guys? My name is Cody. If you've never been to one of my videos before, basically what we do on this channel is we cover how to get better at Madden 21 through offensive and defensive tips and tricks every single day on YouTube. We post videos at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single day. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions about the Saints playbook, so I figured today I would take some time and just kind of cover – uh, some plays that I really like out of the tight offset tight end. This was an offense that was, I believe it was Madden 25 on current gen. At that time, it was the PlayStation 3. Um, that was really, really, really effective, and it's still very effective to this day. Um, and so what we've talked about is we've talked about the uh, the Saints in in our last video, but what we're going to talk about today is the Saints drive out. And I actually really like this play um, for man coverage and zone coverage in this game, but you want to make sure that when you run this play, you are on the right hash mark, okay? Or you basically want to run your corner routes to the wide side of the field. That's going to help a little bit with it. Now, what you'll notice, you have a couple of really unique little routes. First and foremost, you have a little inverted in route to Rob Gronkowski. You see here, I can smart route this route. It'll go a little bit deeper. Um, at, at stock, it's about a six to seven yard in route. Then he cuts inside. Um, with Mike Evans, this route is really, really good. It's a really nice little, basically it's a, it's kind of a skinny corner route, if you will. Um, it's really, really effective, especially if you smart route it against zone, or I'm sorry, against man and against zone. You just leave it at it as it's stock depth. It's really good. It's going to threaten the outside uh, corner. And then you have this little speed out route to Scotty Miller. And the beauty of the tight formation is you can always be motioning different players different uh, directions. So what I like to do with this play is I actually like to take Rob Gronkowski and put him on a little hitch route. And then I'm going to motion Scotty Miller out and snap the ball while he's in motion. And what you'll see here is if you snap the ball while he is moving, he is actually going to be unbumpable. And what that's going to do for your offense is against man-to-man -man coverage, he's going to always be able to win because you've now got him on unbumpable route. Um, and that speed out does really, really good if it, doesn't get, if it does not get pressed. So you can do that. That's one way you could do this. You could also, if you wanted to, kind of bring, let him go out and then motion him back in. And as you'll see here, He's still going to get outside. The thing that I personally would recommend is just simply motioning him uh, to the left and snapping the ball basically as soon as he moves because you want to give him a, a good amount of room to be able to run because this really is going to be kind of a sideline route. It's more of a speed out, but I absolutely love this read from tight. This is a read that we used to make all the time um, in Madden. A lot of people don't really make this read anymore, but I think it's still very effective, um, especially in this year's game. Now, that's against shaded coverage outside. So you see shaded coverage outside is going to do a little bit better. But you have to understand that if you're playing Mutt and these guys have um, really, really good uh, short route running, that's going to really bode well for your offense because they're going to be able to have that 90 over 90 threshold. Um, and as you'll see here, I mean, typically you can get this ball out. Now, one little trick that I like to do with the speed out um, that I want to talk about for just a second is I actually really like to high point it click on and you'll see that he's going to toe tap on the sideline so when you high point it what it does is it just gets the ball out there a little bit more um you know in my opinion if you have a right-handed quarterback you got to be a little bit careful with this throw because it's a little bit more challenging for a right-handed quarterback to make the throw across his body um that's why you, what you could do if you wanted to is you could just flip this play um now i wouldn't want to run this to the short side but you'll see here it's a lot easier of a throw for uh for brady to make when he throws to his right as opposed to throwing to his left so you know just kind of monitor that if you wanted if you wanted to you can flip everything that i'm telling you and run it to the left hash mark just fine but you'll see here um if i high point it right as he goes you see i'm going to get that nice secure catch right on the sideline against man coverage so absolutely love this play against man now if they're just backed off like this you can just let him go um if they're showing press coverage you definitely want to motion him um, if, if he gets pressed, and let me just show you what happens. Um, if I were to let him just run this on a press animation, press coverage is going to do a pretty good job at handling it. As you can see, like, I still hit it, but I'm nowhere near, you know, I am not able to hit this at the same level uh, that I was able to do it. Okay, so that's one route. The next route I really like on this play is this route to Mike Evans. And what you'll see here is he's just going to basically, um, especially if you smart route this against man-to-man, 
as long as you have a good route running advantage, like if, if you have 90 or higher deep route running, this is going to work. It's also going to work if you just have a better overall receiver. In this scenario, Evans is better than the corner that's guarding him. And so what you'll see here is oftentimes he's going to get over the top, and you just want to make sure that when you throw this ball, that it is a hard outside pass lead. You really want to lead him away from the safety. If the safety gets in the gets in the mix here, um, this could actually be really, really bad. You don't want the safety to be able to make a play on the ball. As you see here, hard left. Um, now, one thing you want to keep in mind is that right there. If he, if they shade coverage outside and they, they if it looks covered, don't throw it. Okay. Um, and I know that's a simple rule, but I mean I'm being dead serious. Like this is not a route that you want to play around with and just you can't force feed it. He has to be open by about a yard or two. If he's not open by about a yard or two, if he doesn't have a step, don't throw this, okay? But what you'll notice is a lot of times, this is what people will do, um, is they'll shade coverage outside, shade, shade coverage over top, and then they'll put two purples out there. What I like about this route to Mike Evans is when you snap the ball, you'll see here, if he gets over top, I can just lob this up, and I cannot tell you how many touchdowns I've thrown from, from this formation as he's, I don't know why he's not reacting to the ball. That's actually hilarious. But um, I've thrown a lot of touchdowns on this. Now, really quickly, before we show you anything else, I want to talk about my text message membership, which is completely free for you to join. Um, and what it is, is it's basically every single week, I sit down for about 45 minutes to an hour, and I break down a full offensive or defensive scheme in Madden 21. And these are like the highest levels of schematics that you can get in this game. So we go through literally um, what I do, like what I run in money games, what I run in um, high high stakes games. We also go through, you know, some some of the things come from our studies in our film studies and what we see uh, from pro players and how they're playing the game. So we have a lot of different components of this. But in general, every single week, we're going to be breaking down for you a full offensive or defensive scheme. In the past, we've broken down the split close, the gun bunch, the uh, Carolina bunch, the ace slot offset the um, split close from New England, the Y off trips pass from New England. Um, we've done all of those kind of videos. So if you have not already checked that out, literally all you gotta do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description and it's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, so if the if the left side is covered, let's say the left side's covered in man-to-man. -man, what you're gonna see here on the back side is a nice little natural pick and Chris Godwin is going to come open about 99% of the time. And if you wanted to, you could actually motion him. Um, the reason I don't motion Godwin, honestly, is just if they show press coverage, I would rather take my chance with the right side than with the left side against press man. Because typically that right side, you're going to see a lot of man switches. And Godwin's going to get some form of inside position and be able to get open against, um, against the defense. And what you'll also notice here is this back route, and I totally butchered the throw there. But what you'll also notice, like you see you're man, playing man-to-man -man coverage, right? If they man align, they press, they bring their guys into good alignment, watch the back out of the backfield. You see this little quick throw? It's an, it's one of the most subtle things about this formation, but it's one of the things I absolutely love, is the natural picks and rubs that compression formations allow you to have force the defense to not be allowed to call man coverage. They can't call man coverage against you. You'll see, you can take this little back route like over and over and over again. That's like automatic 20 yards. If they run man coverage on that back, it's an automatic 20 yards unless they get out there and use it. And that's just the bottom line. I mean, you will literally make a living throwing this route right here. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Um, the only time they're going to switch off is if they shade coverage outside and over top. The reason that that becomes problematic is let's say they jump out to the back. Well, if they, they, they can't cover it all, right? Um, and if they jump out to the running back out of a sh specific type of shade, you're going to see Chris Godwin is going to come wide open. As you can see right there, it comes wide open. The switch doesn't occur and, uh, and, and really, really effective. Now, uh, how does this play against zone? Um, I will be honest with you. I love this play against man. It's okay against zone. Now, basically what you have is you have two, um, two essential concepts. First and foremost, you have a hitch flat concept with a drag in between it, which I really, really like that concept against zone coverage. Also, let's say they're running, um, let's say they're running like cover two, but they're not running hard flats. If they're not running hard flats on either side, you can take advantage of it. Um, on the right side, if they're not running hard flats, you can easily um, hit the running back. I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Um, so what you see is these aren't hard flats. I can just hit that out to the back. If Zedaria Smith doesn't make the play of the year, um, You'll see what I'm talking about right here. Now, again, this is cover two. So cover two is going to do the best job. 
but there's no hard flat here. So I can hit that flat and get about five, you know, about five yards if he's not sitting out there on that ball. The next thing that I could do is on the left side of the ball, you'll see here, Scotty Miller got that cloud. You see, see how that cloud flat will play that out route. Okay. That's fine. But what I want to show you what happens is because of the route to Scotty Miller, he's going to pull a lot of zones specifically out of cover two. Um, a lot of people will try to stop this play by running cover two. The problem is this route to Mike Evans. So you'll see right here, you know, nothing there. And then this thing right here to Mike Evans is wide open. You need to make sure that when you throw that ball to Mike Evans, that you are shading it, or, or I'm sorry, pass leading it to the outside in a way. So you almost want to like low ball it and pass lead it outside. And then make sure that you click onto the receiver. If you don't click onto the receiver, um, the computer will kind of dumb out, to be honest. So you need to make sure that you are clicking on the receiver whenever you do this. And this little motion right here is going to help a lot. Um, and basically, as you can see, and Zadari Smith like just makes me want to just basically put a kicker in a defensive lineman with how effective these stupid sheds are in practice mode. It's ridiculous. Um, but anyways, from time to time, you'll see something like this as well. You'll see some Mabel coverage, right? Double flats. So what do you do if they double flat? Well, what that's going to do for your offense is it's going to open up the middle of the field. So if you start seeing these zones go like that uh, right there, oftentimes you're going to have that little crossing route to Godwin. Or you're going to be able to come on the backside, and that's where, you know, that's why some people would say to, to leave the route to Gronkowski and simply smart route it, which you can do that as well. Um, but basically, the drag will come underneath, and then this in route gets in a really tender spot in the back end of the defense. So this play is all around just an amazing play. Um, you're able to attack the flats. Like, one of my favorite, I, I love running this against cover three, because if they run cover three out here, what you'll notice is this little out route is always going to have leverage for you. You're always going to be able to hit it, um, which makes it really, really good. Because let's say they go cover three, and now I want to show you like hard flats. I just want to show this to you. So this is hard flats. All I'm going to do is just uh, high point and possession catch on the sideline. That's where that high point comes from. So if they don't run cover two, in theory, you should be able to hit uh, Scotty Miller because they're not going to bounce out, right? They're not going to bounce to get him really, really wide. And then you get it out there. Just get it out there quick. And as you can see, we're able to get it and go. So that is one of the beauties of this formation. You'll see here you can go to PA shot, she uh, PA shot seams. Um, and what you'll notice here on the right side is now you have a wheel route, uh, which we'll dive into, but does a really, really good job against a lot of things that the defense wants to do. But you still have that same out route and post route or um, out route and corner route combination on the left side. So a lot of things you can do from drive post. One of the things I didn't cover in the video was you could do something like this if you wanted to, just basically a vertical is a four verticals concept. Um, that route will go will basically torch man to the inside as well. So you have that option. But anyways, guys, don't want to take up any more of your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can always text me. Again, my cell phone number is 812-216-3644. Our next video is going to be live in a few hours. We're going to post at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We'll have another one at 8 and then we'll have our live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys in our next one.